Since the time of the pharaohs and even before, smallpox has left its ugly mark on the world. The disease killed, blinded and disfigured millions of people before its eradication, and medical researchers consider a world free of a smallpox one of the greatest medical accomplishments. This year, 2010, they're celebrating the 30th anniversary of the certification of the eradication of smallpox. It's the only disease that we've completely wiped out, except for what's in freezers. Writer Mark Pendergrass' latest book, Inside the Outbreaks, the elite medical detectives of the Epidemic Intelligence Service, examines how a little-known group of doctors at the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention is linked to the eradication of smallpox. The doctors, the medical detectives in the book's title, travel around the world to study, identify, and seek ways to prevent threats to public health. Dr. Denise Koo is an epidemiologist at the CDC in Atlanta, Georgia. It, it is pretty amazing how few people have managed to accomplish so much. Pendergrass' book tells how the doctors of the Epidemic Intelligence Service helped to identify diseases over the past 60 years. They were the first to document the appearance of HIV-AIDS in California. But the book's main message is that it is better to prevent than to cure. The main point of the book, I think, that you can take out of it is that money spent on public health, which most people don't think about, is money well spent. The EIS officers may very well have saved your life, but you would never know it. Pendergrass says today's challenges to good health may be even more difficult to prevent. The worst killers of human beings are human beings themselves, not only through shooting themselves in, in wars, but through our behavior, through smoking, through drinking, through eating too much, and through not getting enough exercise. That's what's really killing us. And EIS officers are trying to deal with all of those, but it's a lot easier to combat a microbe than it is to combat uh, the way that human beings behave. Dr. Denise Koo at the CDC agrees and adds that the environment plays an important role in determining people's health. The question of environmental pollution and climate change is a huge one because it does intersect with all these other systems. Well, I think that climate change is going to be a devastating thing for the next 50 years because all of these tropical diseases are going to begin to spread to other areas as the world heats up. If that is the case, the CDC's medical detectives will be on it, seeking to identify what could become the next great epidemic. This is Sulima Palacio, BOA News. We better discuss this.